ambao wanajificha nyuma ya siasa kuharibu usalama wa nchi haitawezekana haita tena katika taifa la Kenya mwanasiasa yeyote haijalishi yako na nguvu kiasi gani hawa upande wa upinzani hawa upande wa serikali atutakubali mtu yeyote ya siasa tena kuharibu mali kuumiza wananchi kuleta vifo akijizingizia yeye ati ni siasa anafanya mwezi uliopita wanasiasa wengine pale wakasema wanaitisha maandamano ya kisiasa tukajaribu ilikuwa Jumatano tukasema wacha tujaribu tuone hawa watu kama wataandamana kwa amani warudi nyumbani mlilijionea ile Jumatano walienda wakaribu express way ambayo imejengwa na kodi ya wakenya na madeni ambayo tutalipa wakaenda wakafunga barabara wakaenda wakadunga watu kwa visu wakaiba mali ya watu wakachoma ma, ma, e, e, gari za polisi wakapiga polisi na mawe na ilipofika kama saa saba tukaamua ya kwamba hiyo lazima tukomeshe kwa sababu ilikuwa imebainika hakuna uwezekano ya kufanya yale mambo pasipo na mahafa and from that day the government has decided that it will not allow again the destruction of the property of the people of Kenya it will not allow citizens whatever their grievances to stone policemen who are on duty to burn police vehicles and to attack government facilities we had ugly incidents some of them bridge, uh, only some of them bordering on an attack on our sovereignty as a country wengine wanaenda wanavunja nyumba ya deputy county commissioner ofisi kuna uhusiano gani kati ya bei ya unga na ofisi ya DCC wengine walipatikana wakichoma bendera ya Kenya na it is not going to be possible again na wale watu ambao wanataka kufanya siasa yao lazima wakubali kusia, kufanya siasa ya amani so nataka ni wahakikishie wananchi wote wa jamhuri ya Kenya never again will anybody threaten the peace stability and tranquility of our country using any reason whatsoever na zimesikia sasa hao wana, wana siasa wameenda kuongea sisi kama walinda usalama hatuna shida hiyo ni mambo ya demokrasia watu ya upinzani na watu ya eh, serikali wakitaka kuongea mambo ya siasa ni sawa on one condition hiyo mazungumzo isipofaulu kusiwe mtu atatishia watu watu tena ati kwa sababu yale mazungumzo hatujazikizana ati sasa tunarudi kuumiza raia so the people of Nyeri the people of Kenya the country is safe tuko na changamoto lakini nchi yetu iko salama na tuta tu, haitawezekana tena mtu yeyote ati kuterrorize wananchi instilling fear and terror on innocent people because they want to achieve political objectives we must remove violence from the equation mahali wakati wana, watu wanapanga siasa yao wakuwe wabunge wakuwe MCA wakuwe governor wakuwe senator wakuwe rais mtu apange kuhusa sera na asipo ridhika na matokeo afuate sheria 
na afuate taasisi utaratibu ambao uko katika katiba wa kulalamika violence must not be part of the equation so those politicians who are engaging in talks can continue we have no role in it ourselves we are security managers in case of course we hope that they will agree there is no problem in agreeing but in the event that they don't agree nobody nobody should imagine that they can threaten and terrorize Kenyans again simply because what they were planning to achieve has not been realized you come to my other one hiyo ndio msimamo wa serikali ya William Ruto so mimi nataka nikomee hapo niseme nimeshukuru kwa hapa muendelee kuombea nchi yetu muendelee kuombea rais muendelee kuombea naibu wa rais na mimi nataka niseme ile kazi ambayo tumeanza hapa